Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today before I leave for work. So I prime my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. Then I went in with the Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Foundation in the color Y225. And then um, I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. Then I, of course, went over everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Sorry, my boyfriend had called me while I was getting ready for work. Um, just give me a second. And then um, I'm going to go to work very soon. Um, then I primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24-hour primer. And then, of course, went over that the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And then I went in with Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream on the... Uh, eyes as a transition shade and then I went in with the MAC palette today. I really have been enjoying this a lot. Um, I just used the standard shades that I usually use in the crease. I use this color um, Butter Fudge in the crease over Beaches and Cream and then I use Saddle to define the crease more. Then I used um, Dance in the Dark on the outer corners and then I went in with this color on the lid and that one is called Honey Lust. Um, and then for, so those are the only colors I used from this palette. And then on the brow bone, I went in with Max Shroom, the single shadow and shroom. I've been really loving that for the brow bone. But I really have been loving these. I feel like I blended my eyeshadow really good today. I feel like these are really incredibly easy, easy to blend. So I really have been loving this a lot. Then I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. Then I went in with the Steel Lash Stunner Primer and the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And then on the bottom I went in, of course, with the MAC Center Blake Gigga Black Lash. And then in the inner corners I went in with Makeup Geek's Filled Shadow and Starry Eyed. It's still my favorite. I think it's my Holy Grail inner corner color. It's just my favorite one. Um, then I went in with, of course, my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and my MAC Rubber Prime Radiant Rose under the eyes. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I contoured with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit with the medium shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. And then um, for blush, I went with, in with MAC's Soft uh, Shimmer Blush, I mean Soft Powder Blush in Melba. And then for highlight, I went in with Becca Shimming Skin Perfected Pressed in Opal. And then I, of course, went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. And then um, I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil in Brown Natural and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then for the lips, I went and then set everything, of course, with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray because I did run out of the Chill Makeup Setting Spray, but I did want to use that up before the winter months hit because I don't really want to use a chilling, cooling product on my face for the winter months. It's going to start getting colder and I don't really want a cold sensation on my face. Um, then I primed my lips with the... Urban Decay Glide On Slide On Pencil in Ozone, and then line them with the uh, ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Grunge. This is actually the first time I've, I'm using this lippy pencil because I haven't done a dark lip like this, like a brown lip, in like a week or so. So I really wanted to bust that out today. And then I fill them in with the MAC um, Matte Lipstick in Whirl because it's actually the only second time I'm using this one, and I really wanted to use it today doing a... Uh, pretty much full-on MAC look. Um, if it looks a little weird, I'm sorry. I kind of like lined my lips a little weird with this because it was kind of like already broken. I don't know how. Like it was already dull when I first started using it. I probably should have sharpened it first before I used it. But I'm like, whatever. And then yeah, that's it. So I got to go to work. Bye. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. So I decided to go with something very neutral today, but you know, I always like like to um, play up my neutral looks and like sometimes you just feel like doing a really neutral look. I actually ended up going out with my boyfriend today even though I didn't have any specific plans with him. But he ended up only having one class today because it's election day. And then next week is Veterans Day so he doesn't have any class again on a Tuesday. But anyway, so I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. Then I went in with the Marc Jacobs um, Remarkable uh, Complete Coverage Foundation Concentrate in Invisible Light. I believe it's Ivory Light or Invisible Light or something. I know I keep on messing up the name or the shade or whatever. Um, then I went in with, and I've actually been really liking it now. <laughs> I don't love it, but I think it's like 
definitely ni a lot nicer than I thought. It hasn't like broken up on my nose or anything. It hasn't really broken up too much, maybe just a little bit here. But I do like how it's lasted throughout the day, and it hasn't really felt like anything. So I am actually really enjoying it now because um, I am putting on a lot less, and I feel like it matches my neck completely, like 100%. Like it's an exact match for my skin and it really does look like my skin. I, I really have been really liking it recently so I think I am going to keep it now. Um, then I went in and I mixed that with the Becca Shrimming Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I've been loving that mixing with my foundation. It's definitely like probably my favorite product of the month so I'm definitely going to put it in my uh, uh, October favorites video. Um, then I Concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concern and Light Warm and my MAC Urban Primer Radiant Rose. If I don't use my Urban Decay for a few days, I just have to go back and use it again for a couple of days because it's like it's still my baby. So um, I just use it as much as I can. Um, even though it does make a little bit of a white cast around my eyes, but I still love it because it looks so beautiful under the eyes. So anyway, um, then of course I went over everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then um, I primed my eyes with the Smashbox Photo Finish. 24 hour primer and then went over that with the Laura Mercier uh, translucent setting powder. Then I went in with Makeup Geeks Beaches and Cream to act as my transition shade like I always do. And then I went in with the Morphe 35O palette today. I am absolutely loving the look I came up with. So I used um, a couple of the matte shades that I've used before but I really love them and I just really wanted to use a lot of the neutral shades in here today. So I believe I went in with this color on the crease right here. And then I went in with this one and um, this one here to define the crease and darken it up more. And then I went in this color right here. And then I went in with this dark chocolatey brown color on the outer corners. I've been really loving that for the outer corners. I still haven't used some shades in here, but I am planning to. I might even use this tomorrow too to use this like really pretty gold shade. Um, but I decided to go with this shade right here today. And this shade sneaks up on you because it is beautiful. Like, it has kind of like a little bit of a dual chrome effect to it. But the only annoying thing, you kind of can't see it right now because it does transfer to the crease a lot. And I was a little bit disappointed in that because it was so beautiful when I first put it, put it on. Like, if you can see, like this shade right here, if you can see, there's it like catches a reflection in the light of like a little bit of pink. And it has like a dual chrome effect to it. I think it's like the only shade that's really like that in here. Which is really, really surprising. See, it looks like that. It kind of rem reminds me of the Makeup Geek dual chrome shadows. Like, I was really surprised. And that's what it looks like right here. It kind of reflect. yeah, it, it has like a dual chrome effect to it. It kind of reminds me of ColourPop's highlighter in Monster. It is really, really gorgeous. I'm going to try and get more swipes for you. See that? You see that pink reflect? It's like tan here, but then it's like pink in the light. It's really beautiful. So I decided to go with that color on my lid, and I love it. Um, I might honestly use this palette tomorrow, or I might, or I'm, I was going to use the Vegas Nay palette tomorrow, but I really want to play around a little bit more with this palette. I said it was going to be my November palette, so I am going to use this a lot more in, in the, um, in November, I have used it about four times now, and I absolutely love it. Um, then I went in with this matte um, highlight on the brow bone because I wanted to use one of these colors in here rather than um, a Mac, the Mac one. And then on the inner corners, I went in with the dual chrome shadow in um, I'm Peachless from Makeup Geek. And then for the eyes, of course, I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. Then I primed my lashes with the Stella Lash Center Primer and went in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. If they look a little, like, dead right now, I'm sorry, but I had to, like, recoat them a couple of times because I had to re-eye my, my eyes, reline my eyes again for this because I tried to pack on more of this pigment from this shade. Um, but it didn't really, like... It kind of like clumped my lashes a little bit, but that's okay because like I'm taking it all off after this anyway. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. Then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then of course I went in with the MAC Extended Light Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Then I contoured with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit with the lighter sh with the medium shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. 
Then I highlighted with Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in So Hollywood. I just really wanted to use it today. I just love this color. It's so pretty. And then I went in with um, the NARS blush in Madly. I've been loving that blush recently. It is so pretty. Honestly, NARS blushes last all day. Like, I did reapply it a couple of times, but I didn't have to reapply it too much. Like, literally little dabs. Because you can still see it. Like, when I got home from work today at 3 o'clock, it was still, like, super pigmented on my cheeks. And then I reapplied it a little bit before my boyfriend got here. And then I reapplied it again for this video just to freshen it up a little bit more. And it still, like, barely needed any touching up. It just has the most beautiful, natural flush. Like, it does not look flat. It just makes your cheeks look so natural. I just love it. Um, and then, of course, I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. And then set everything with the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm just saying... It's not really on f as on much fleek now as it was before, but the, the All Nighter set Setting Spray puts your highlight on like full fleekage. I'm not even say like kidding you. It just like has this crazy like like shiny effect, and it just makes your highlight look gorgeous. So I'm definitely gonna be using that more during the winter months. Of course, I probably should have used it more in the summertime because now I'm just finding out that uh, now. And sorry for my eyebrow, it looks a little weird, but I did um, fill in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and Brown Natural and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then for the, my lips, I went in with the Urban Decay Glide On Sign On Pencil in Ozone and then uh, lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Oh Snap. And then I filled them in with the Makeup Monsters Liquid Lipstick in Raw and I wore it the entire day. And I actually really do like it now. Um, it is a little bit more drying than Sedona. And plus, this is the first one I've worn the entire day. Because I just decided to wear this because I didn't have that much time to get ready in between seeing my boyfriend and work. Because he basically told me like a half hour before I left work that he wanted to hang out. So I just decided to keep on the makeup I wore to work. And I did test this out all day. It does not go anywhere off of your lips like it does wear off a little bit but it stays like it will not come off like it wears off a little bit here and here but it doesn't look crazy honestly and I just would fill it in a couple times and like I did reapply it but like it layers beautifully and does not flake off or does not go it doesn't go anywhere around your mouth like it doesn't create a ring at all so I love these lipsticks. And that's it. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. Um, so I, of course, primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the um, Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. Then I went in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5 and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and mixed them with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Moonstone. I really love how it made... The foundation look, I really didn't think that I needed it with the Giorgio Armani, but I just added a little bit, and I love the finish. I think it makes it look so beautiful, so I'm, like, obsessed with this. So, I mean, I was going to wear the Marc Jacobs foundation again today, or maybe the Too Faced Born This Way, because I was using a Too Faced palette for my eyes today. But I just decided to wear something I know looks good all the time. And also, I, I knew I wasn't going to be wearing makeup for too long today and I didn't really want something so full coverage so I just decided to go in with my favorite foundation so and I just I love it it never fails me um then I went in with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in uh Fair and MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose to conceal and highlight um then I of course set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and then I primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24 Hour Eye Primer uh, photo finish eye primer. I know I probably change the name of that like all the time. Um, then of course I went in with my transition shade which is Makeup Geek Speeches and Cream. And then today I used the Too Faced Stardust palette. Um, I was debating on whether or not I was going to use this palette today. But like every time I use it I am so pleased with it because the colors are just they're so pretty and they blend so amazingly and it's it, like it doesn't matter that I always use the same like five or six colors. I really do love the look. So I always put Millennial in the crease as my crease shade. Then I use Girls Night to define and darken it up a little bit more. Then I take 
um, showgirl and throw that on the lid and then jackpot I throw in on the inner corners I mean inner corners outer corners and then chandelier I use as my brow bone highlight I just love these colors they are so awesome like I've used this probably like nine or ten times and I really do love it so I really do enjoy this palette a lot I was going to use the morphe palette today rather than this I kept on debating um, but I decided to go with this because I was just so pleased with the look that I came up with but I mean like I just feel like I'm using the same like kind of matte browns recently like this color is like in the morphe palette but like they're all different to me I feel like so or I feel like I created the same look with mac a couple of days ago but this color is very different so that's why I think it still looks really pretty this color is showgirl I love this color um so yeah um, then I went in on the inner corners with uh, Makeup Geek's uh, Magic Act because I just wanted a little bit more gold in the look and I just love it. I've just been so obsessed with gold highlights, gold everything lately. It's just like, I don't know, I've just been really loving gold everywhere <laughs> lately. Then I lined my eyes with Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. That usually never changes ever. Um, I might have to get a new one soon because I feel like it is drying out on me a little bit. So I probably have to go purchase a backup. Um... Then I primed my lashes with the Stila Lash Stunner Primer and then went over them, of course, with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I've been really loving that mascara. Then, of course, on the bottom, I went in with the MAC Rx Play Giga Black Lash. That never changes. Um, then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Maybelline uh, Better Skin Concealer and the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. And then I set everything with the... I set my under eye with the La Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I wasn't going to contour today, but I was like, you know, I want to use one more Too Faced product, so I might as well contour. So I used the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit and contoured with the medium shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. I actually did do that after I applied my blush and highlight, and I was like, oh, I kind of want to contour still. Then I was going to use um, the Bombs Cabana Boy today, but I was thinking about shooting my favorites tonight. I'm not sure yet. Um, because I still haven't been able to try one other makeup monster liquid lipstick and two of the Lime Crime lipsticks. I've worn both of the ColourPop ones and the one of the Lime Crime Velveteens and three of the Makeup Monsters ones. This is one of the Makeup Monsters ones today. I finally got to wear this by itself, but I did wear it once before mixed with First Base from ColourPop. Um, but I really wanted to try out all of the liquid lipsticks that I have before I mention them in my favorites, um, because I probably want to mention all four, but it wouldn't be fair if I wasn't able to try out the other ones, like, truly and, like, see how they last throughout the day. Um, but I might do it tomorrow instead, like, at the end of the day, because I am planning on wearing Lime Crime's Wicked tomorrow, so I might do it then. We'll see. Um, then for blush, I went in with my favorite pink blush this month instead of Cabana Boy. I went in with Makeup Geek Spellbound, so that's definitely going to be my favorites. Um, and then I highlighted with Laura Geller's Baked Illuminator and Gilded Honey. I definitely like it, but I feel like I like the Anastasia one more. This one I feel like is a little bit more subtle than the Anastasia, and I just love how the Anastasia one, one, one looked yesterday. And then I went over everything, of course, with the Hourglass Luminous Light Pattern, and then set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and Brown Natural and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Urban Decay Glide on Slide On Pencil in Ozone and then lined them with ColourPop's Lippy Pencil in Contempo and then filled them in with Makeup Monsters Liquid Lipstick in Cherry Moya. I finally got to wear it today and I really love this color. It is so freaking pretty. So I might go out later to Sephora. Um, to scope out what I actually want for the vibe sale. I have to see how much money I actually have in the vibe sales in two days. So <sighs> I'm like kind of worried about it still, but I think I'll be okay. But yeah, that's it. I'm really trying to pick up a Friday morning shift or a Friday night. Depends on which one I can because I'm either going to buy everything I really want on Friday morning and then go to work and then have money Friday and Saturday for to go on Monday because the only days that I can go for the vibe sale is tomorrow and Monday. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go on Monday. I am intending on ordering one thing online either over the weekend or Monday like from Sephora so I can get 20% off of it. Um, but there are five things that I do want and I'm probably gonna go see if my Sephora has a certain item that they had in Roswell Field yesterday because I went to 
I went with my boyfriend to Roosevelt Field yesterday to go shopping with him. And we went to Sephora and I just wanted to check if they had one of the items that I really want that I didn't see in my Sephora. And I'm hoping they have it there because I don't want to go all the way to Roosevelt Field. And I was thinking about ordering it online instead. But we will see. I am working Monday night. Um, but I can't work Sunday because my sister has her last show. And I'm off Friday and Saturday I work. I'm only working Saturday morning and Monday night, so I'm really wanting to work a Friday night or morning. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. If my lipstick looks retarded, I am sorry. I was trying to touch it up as best as I can. I did end up overlining it a little bit, but I've been reapplying this a lot today. And I also burnt my tongue on some coffee that I have with my boyfriend. Um, like an hour ago, I did have a decaf cappuccino and kind of burnt my tongue a little bit. So, again, I'm sorry, and I got, like, all over my face today because we were kissing, and, yeah, so anyway, I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Too Faced and the uh, Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. Then I went in with a sample of a new foundation today. It's the YSL Touche Clot Foundation. I'm not sure of the shade that I am, but I will tell you what shade I am tomorrow because tomorrow is the vibe sale. I'm so excited to go to the vibe sale. Um, so I am going to go and pick up the stuff that I've been wanting lately. Um, and then I mix it in with my Becca Shrimming Skin Perfector in Moonstone and my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. And I love this foundation. I think it's beautiful. So I'm definitely going to be wearing it a lot. And I'm really glad I got to try it out before I actually bought it. Um, then I concealed my and highlighted my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm in my MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. Then I set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then I primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer. Um, and then for my eyes, I went in with my classic look that I do for gray. The lid color did fade, but I just didn't really feel like it reapplying it. Um, so I did go in with the shade and light palette today, and I used the color Lazarus. Um, actually the color Lucius all over the eyes, and then I went in with Lazarus on the crease. Then I went in with Salios to darken up the crease more, and then I went in with Shax, and Salios Shax is like the black shade. Actually, they say all the shades back here, so I can just read them here. Is the black shade, and I just uh, put that on my outer corners too. And then for the brow bone, brow bone, I went in with Liberatus, which is like this matte white color. And then for the lids, I went in with Makeup Geeks Foil Shadow and High Wire. I do usually use that when I do gray tone looks now. Um, but yes, I do feel like it kind of faded, but you can still see it a little bit. Um, so yeah, anyway, and then I line my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. I'm just rushing through this because I really just want to take my makeup off right now. Um, then I, um, primed my lashes with the Steel Lash Stunner Primer and then went over them with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And then on the bottom lashes, of course, the MAC is going to play like a black lash. And I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm. And my MAC Prep and Prime and Radiant Rose. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Burning Powder. Then I contoured with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit with the lighter shade. With the medium shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. Then, um, for blush, I went in with NARS's Blush in Madly because I knew this would be a really pretty blush with a red lip, so I really wanted to use it. And then I highlighted with Becca Shipping Skin Reflective Press in Old Bull. I just really wanted to use it today. I thought it looked really pretty with this look. Um, then, of course, I set everything and went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. And then I set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Um, then I filtered my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and Brown Natural. And then... Uh, set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then for my lips, I went in with, of course, with the Urban Decay Primer in Ozone. And then lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Poison. And then I went in with the new lipstick that I got from Lime Crime. One of the new lipsticks. I wasn't able to wear any of the red shades that I picked up recently. So I got to wear Wicked today. And I like it. I just feel like this does not stay on as much as my other Velveteens do. I guess it's just like this certain type of color and also because I did eat a lot today. Like I was like chomping down on a sandwich and then I had um, a taco salad. And yeah, that's it. So that's why there's like a little bit of a red ring in around my mouth. So that's it. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. Um, so I did just keep it on the really natural side because again, I wasn't really sure <laughs> of what my plans were today. But all I did was go to the Sephora Vibe Sale and then go to the gym. So this is what I wore for that. 
Um, so I primed my, I wanted to, um, work tonight, but then I ended up not being needed. I did pick up a standby shift, but then they said that they didn't need me. So anyway, um, I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the, um, uh, Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. Then, um, I went in with the YSL to Chiclot Foundation in, um, B10 Beige. That is my shade. I am using the sample that I got from Sephora. Um, and I've been really loving it lately. And then I mixed that with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. I didn't mix in the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector because I feel like this foundation is very dewy that I don't think I really need it too much. And plus, I didn't want to go too luminous today because I was working out. So I didn't want to look like a greasy, like a grease ball. Then I concealed and highlighted with my Maybelline um, Better Skin Concealer in Ivory or Fair. I think it's ivory actually, and the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose, and then I set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then I primed my eyes with the Smashbox Photo Finish 24 Hour Primer, and then went over that with the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Setting Powder. Um, and then for my eyes, of course, I went in with all Makeup Geek shadows. I went in with Beaches and Cream on the crease, and then darkened it up more with Creme Brulee. Those are basically my two go-to shades when I do a natural look. Then I went in with Frappe on the crease and then um, went in with Latte on the outer corners. And then on the lid, I was going to do an all matte eye, but I was like, no, I want to use a foiled shadow. So I went in with In the Spotlight. And then um, for my lashes, and then also for the brow bone, I went in with Max Shroom. And then for the uh, eyelashes, of course, I went with the Steel Lash Stunner Primer and then went over them with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and the um, Maybell MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. And then set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then, of course, went in with the MAC Extended Play Gick a Black Lash on the bottom lashes. And then on the inner corners, I went in with Starry Eyed for Makeup Geek, like I always do. Then for... Um, for blush, I went in actually with Makeup Geek's Bliss and Spellbound and mixed them together because since I was doing a cooler toned lip, I wanted to like mix um, a cooler toned blush and a warm toned blush together. And I think it looked really, really pretty. So um, that's what I did. And then for highlight, I went in, with, of course, with Becker's Shim Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Champagne Pop. And then I said I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. And then um, I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and Brown Natural and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then went over everything with the Urban Decay, uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. If I could talk today, that'd be great. Um, and then I primed my lips with the Urban Decay Glide On Side On Pencil in Ozone. And then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Lumiere. And then I went in and filled them in with the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Stone. I just, for some reason, I was just feeling this kind of lip today. And I actually do really like, I am kind of changing my opinion of this now. I feel like it's stayed like super hydrating all day. And it really does not feel dry at all. There is a little bit of transfer, but I actually like it more now than I did before. And it didn't wear off too much when I ate tonight. So yeah, um, I think I am still a little bit on the fence with them, but we will see. And that's it. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Make Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. Then I went in with the YSL Touche Clot Foundation in the full size because I did pick it up um, yesterday. And I'm going to haul everything probably on Tuesday um, in B10 and then mix that with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. And I am loving this foundation. It is beautiful. And then I um, concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Primant Radiant Rose. Then um, I went over everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, then I primed my eyes with the Smashbox Photo Finish 24 Hour Primer. And then went over that with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then I used the Morphe Palette today and I will tell you what colors I used. Um, so I did, of course, go in with Makeup Geek's Peaches, Beaches and Cream in the crease first. Then I went in with this color on the crease to darken it up more. Then I went in with, I believe, this color here to darken it up more, you know, to, to find it and give it some, uh, 
definition. Then um, I went in with this color on the crease and this color, these two colors on the outer corners. I actually was supposed to do this one on the crease, but I kind of messed up and used this matte one, but that's okay. Um, and then I went in with this color on the lid. I thought it was beautiful, so that's what I used. I just was really drawn to that color, so I really wanted to use it. And then I went in with um, this color on the brow bone. I kind of mixed these two together. And that's what I used on the eyes. Right? Yeah, that was it. Um, then I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. And then, of course, I primed my lashes with the Stila Lash Center Primer. I'm just trying to remember if I used any more shadows, but I don't think I did. Then I went in with the new uh, mascara today. I went in with the Dior Show, um, I think, Extension Mascara. I think that's what it's called. Wait, I have a box right here. Let's see. I know it sounds like I'm like digging to China, but I'm really not. It's the um, Dior Mascara Professional Dior Show. I am really liking it so far. Um, and then on the bottom, I went in, of course, with the MAC Extended Black Like a Black Lash. And then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm. And my MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. I just like made a stain on my lips, but whatever. I've been wearing this lipstick all day. And then I set everything with the Laura Mercier. Uh, I set my under eye with the Laura Mercier Secret Branding Powder, and then I went in with Starry Eyed by Makeup Geek on the inner corners, my favorite inner corner highlight. Then for my cheeks today, I used the NARS Steven Klein Palette. I went in with the Laguna Bronzer to contour. I just thought it looked really pretty. It pretty much faded now, but I just thought it was like a more natural color than Paloma, and then I went in with the Paloma um, highlighter, blood, uh, highlighter to bake the contour. And then for the blush, I went in with the NARS Luster Blush from that palette, which I love. Um, and then I used the new highlighter I picked up. I used the YSL, the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow. And actually, I didn't use the MAC Prepper Primer today. I used the YSL uh, highlighter pen that I got yesterday. I forgot to say that. I'm so used to saying MAC Prepper Primer. So I used the highlighter pen in the shade... Um, Luminous Ivory. I have all the boxes right here so I can tell you what they are because I'm going to do the haul very soon. Um, and then I want everything, of course, with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. I am loving the Pink Glow Highlighter. I think it's gorgeous. You see that? I just think it's so freaking natural looking and it's still on fleek. It's beautiful. And then I set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Then I filter my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and Brown Natural and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Urban Decay Glide On Slide On Pencil in Ozone and then lined them with the uh, ColourPop Lippy Pencil in O-Snap and then I filled them in with the Lime Crime Velveteen in Pumpkin. I just really wanted to use it again today and it's more of a natural color to use than using like a red so I thought it was just really pretty for like work and for going out. So that's it. Bye! Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. I did go out with my family today for like most of the day because it was my last sister's, it was my sister's last show, my last sister's, <laughs> my last sister's show for a show that she did on the island. It's like a professional theater, like a professional run basically. So um, she just finished West Side Story, so this was her last show. Um, sorry if my like concealer looks a little weird. I did have to like go back in and reapply my foundation and I'll tell you about that in a little bit. So then um, I went in of course with the U Saint Laurent Touche Clot foundation in B10. I am kind of thinking this is like my favorite foundation ever now. Um, I might have to wear the Giorgio Armani again a couple of times to see which one is actually my favorite but this one is like pretty much tied with the Giorgio Armani and the Dior. I love this foundation. It just is so beautiful and luminous. It just like I've never seen my skin look look better wearing a foundation than this foundation. I love it so much. This is like the fourth time I've worn it already. Like twice out of the full size bottle that I got and then um, twice out of the tester. Then I concealed and highlighted with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and my MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. Then I, of course, set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then um, I primed my eyes with the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Paste. 
NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I'm super tired. I'm sorry. I did have a glass of wine. Um, because I really wanted to use it today instead of the, um, of the Smashbox. Sorry, somebody texted me. Oh. Um. Sorry. Just give me one second. Then, um, I went in with the, of course, with my Transition Shade Make Makeup Geeks Beaches and Cream. And then I did use the Morphe palette again today. I was going to use Makeup Geek Shadows, but I really wanted to use the Morphe palette again. I know, but, um, I basically am doing, like, the same kind of look on Thursday because I am wearing, like, a black and gold dress. And this has, like, black, gold, and gray in it. So I did, like, just a neutral look today with a red lip. So I used, um, what color did I use in the crease? Um, pretty sure I went with this color or this color. I think it was this color right here in the crease. Yeah, I went in with that color, which I've actually used this color a couple times now. I really like it. Then I went in with this color to darken up the crease more. And then I went in with this, like, grayish brown tone in the outer corners and then I really wanted to use this like gold shade on the lid today so that's what I used on the lid and then I combined these two colors again on the brow bone to highlight the brow bone then of course I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D tattoo liner Mad Max Brown <sighs> then I primed my lashes with the Stila Lash Stunner Primer and then um use the Dior Show X Mascara again I have been really liking it already then for the inner corners, I went in with Makeup Geeks Filled Shadow in Magic Act and um, Makeup Geeks Dual Chrome Shadow in Voltage. I thought it looked really cool together. Um, then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with my Urban Decay NYX Concealer and Light Warm. I know it looks a little uneven, but that's because I had to redo my blush. <clears throat> um, and I keep on saying the Matt Preppin Primate Radiant Rose when I use the Yves Saint Laurent Highlighter Pen in Luminous Vanilla Luminous Ivory to conceal and highlight and then I used it under my eyes as well with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and then I set everything with Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder under my eyes then I <clears throat> went in with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes then I contoured with the NARS Laguna Bronzer from the Steven Klein Palette um, and then I went in with NARS's Luster Blush from the same palette. Um, I did, I was intentionally on use, going to intentionally use, um, Dolce Vita from that palette. Um, and I thought it was a lot more red toned from what I saw on the actual pan. But when you put it on your cheeks, it's like a ridiculously warm pink, like dark pink color. And it was just too much that I was like, oh my god, I can't blend this out. And I barely used any of it. I'm like, I can't wear this because it's way too pink. So I decided to, I tried to make it more uh, matted down and more orangey like this, like luster, with luster. But it just wasn't working, so I had to reapply my foundation and um, uh, contour again. And then I just went over it with luster instead because... Obviously, this is like a perfect color to use. It's like just the right amount of pigment, but it's not too orange. It's not too pink. It's like in between. It's so pretty. I love it. And then I highlight with Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator Illuminator in So Hollywood. I love this highlighter so much. Then, of course, I went over everything with the Hourglass on this light powder and then set everything with the Urban Decay Chill, Chill Makeup Setting Spray, the All Nighter Setting Spray. I cannot talk. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and Brown Natural and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Urban Decay Glide On Sign On Pencil in Ozone and then lined my lips with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Poison. And then I filled in my lips with the Makeup Monsters Liquid Lipstick in Redwood. This is the first time I am wearing this lipstick. And I think this might be my favorite one out of ColourPop's Avenue and Lime Crime's Wicked. I find this one to be the least drying. And I have reapplied it quite a few times. It's not, but it doesn't wear off like the ColourPop Avenue or Wicked does. It like barely wears off. Maybe like a little bit here. But I find like with these colors, you just can't seem to be able to keep them on. Like a dark brown or like even a brighter red. For some reason, these just don't uh, hold up as well. But I still really think that this was a beautiful lipstick on. I really, really love this 
Sorry if it looks a little funky. I did try and fix it up as best as I can, but I am about to go take it off. So that's it. Bye.